Hi, Anchor listeners. My name is Brady. This summer, the Olympics are starting in Paris. There will be over 10,000 athletes from all over the world. They work tirelessly. They sacrifice, they perfect their skills, and compete to win a gold medal for their country of citizenship. I've heard past Olympic medalists say that it was their biggest achievement, even larger than winning championships for a professional team. Something about being united on the world stage, united with other athletes, all with one focus. Today, we're looking at Philippians 3, 17 through 21. Paul discusses citizenship in verse 20, but not as an athlete competing for their country, but as a believer in Jesus Christ, whose citizenship is in heaven. Paul encourages the Philippian believers, urging them to eagerly await a savior from heaven, Lord Jesus Christ. In verse 17, Paul provides wisdom. Join together in following my example And just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. In verses 18 through 19, Paul provides caution. As I have often told you before and now tell you again, even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things. Paul has the wisdom of being the model and example that he encourages And he was also the person he cautions against. He had Roman citizenship, but he was a missionary road warrior with a passport from heaven, living as an ambassador for Christ. He faithfully represented and gave all to his event of making believers and building the early church. Earlier, in verse 13, Paul sounds like an Olympic athlete. Brothers and sisters, I can't consider myself a winner yet. I don't look back. I lengthen my stride and I run straight towards the goal to win the prize that God's heavenly call offers in Christ Jesus. Maybe he sets the bar high, but he models someone, as he said in Acts, do it all the way to gain Christ. This passage makes us reflect on what gold medal we're pursuing, who we're modeling, who's in our social groups, and what kingdom are we living for. Finally, Paul provides encouragement in verse 21. Who, by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body? This verse provides a finish line for my life and makes me imagine that as citizens of heaven, one day Jesus will review our earthly travels and stamp our passport to allow us into heaven and say, well done. A true disciple's citizenship is not the USA or any other country, but the kingdom of God that is breaking into our world. This kingdom is where our loyalty and allegiance should ultimately be aimed and where we get our identity and purpose. We are to be ambassadors for Christ.